Welcome. It's Sunday, May the 30th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we read from the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament, chapter 40, verses 1 through 11. Here is the word of the Lord. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, In the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged place is a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I say, what shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say, say to the towers of Judah, here is your God. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him and he and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arm and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. And that is the word of the Lord. The article for today is titled Firm and Secure, written by Samuel Samos. When we sit on a commercial airplane, flash, fasten our seat belts, and feel the aircraft lifting off, we don't see the pilot. It's easy to assume that because the airplane is moving, the pilot is in the cockpit. We may not know the pilot's names, but how long they have been flying or how much experience they have. All we know is that there are pilots and the aircraft is moving. We have full confidence and trust that we will arrive at our definitions. There are times I wish I had the same trust and confidence in my journey with Jesus. There are always questions about the destination, the turbulence, the takeoff, and landing. In the book of Hebrews, we read, We who have fled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. And that is Hebrews chapter 6, verses 18 and 19. The key words for our hope are firm and secure. That is the encouragement this passage gives us, like riding in an airplane. We have full confidence that our hope is firm and secure. The hymn is Leaning on the Everlasting Arms by Alicia A. Hoffman. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. And from the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 9, we read, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And that is your daily devotion for Sunday, May the 30th. Have a blessed day and a wonderful Memorial Day weekend.